All right, welcome to Lost in the Curve. Today I'm going to go through the decipherment of these lumber grade stamps that you see stamped on the 2x4s and 4x4s and other dimensional lumber. So, first let me go through, there's five requirements that have to be on these lumber grade stamps. Number one is moisture content. Number two is product grade. Number three species or species group of tree for the American Lumber Standard Committee Accredited Supervisory Agency logo. And number five, unique mill number or mill name. So let's go through this. This is a four by four. And uh, let's go through, the, through this in uh, order. I'll do my best here. Number one, moisture content. So what they've done is listed, which is allowable, uh, listed the moisture content as KD, kiln dried, heat treated, which this kiln dried is in theory supposed to give the assurance that it's 19% moisture content or less. The heat treated is an assurance that there is no pests in, in the wood. Number two, the product grade which in this instance is a number two, and this two stands for two common. And there are some other ones, some uh, grades that come before this. There's a one common, which is a little better. The D select is still a little better. The C select, which is the best. You're also gonna see some of these listed as one better and uh, two better and Kind of what I go by is just the number, and if it is indeed better, well, you're just in luck. So, number three, the species or species group. And the way they've done it here is in this triangle is the letter D and then F-I-R. So D for Douglas, F-I-R, fir. So the species of, of tree, Douglas, fir. And you're going to see all kinds of different species of wood. Now, it's not going to be... Uh, tremendous number. Uh, a lot of these are grouped together. You're going to see a lot of S-P-F. So spruce for the S, P is pine, and then F is fir. So they've been allowed to group all those together. And there's different combinations of those. And I'll go, th this actually is two by four has a little different designation. So number four, the ALSC agency or association. In this case, it's WWP and uh, A, which this stands for Western Wood Products Association. And they work with a, a whole lot of uh, lumber companies here in the US. And this R is just their registration mark for that logo. And the unique mill number or name. In this case, they've put their name, Cowlitz Stud, and then this M, I'm guessing, is manufacturing. And if you guys know different, if this stud refers to, uh, it can be used as a stud, and this M is not manufacturing, I really don't know what that is. But that's my closest. I did look up Cowlitz, and that is indeed a company, Cowlitz Stud uh, Manufacturing. Uh, if you know a different, let me know in the comments, and I'll be glad to, uh, to acknowledge that. And one thing this company has added and uh, other companies add as well is this one quarter EE, which had me stumped. But once you find out, it makes a lot of sense. It's a quarter inch eased edge. So just for ease of handling, they've eased over these edge edges of this lumber a quarter of an inch. So it just makes it much easier to... Uh, less chance of splinters and it's just kind of a user-friendly thing that they do. That kind of covers it. I am going to go through this 2x4 real quick. So moisture content, kiln dried, heat treated, 19% or less. Product grade, which in this instance they've listed it as a stud. It qualifies as can be a structural member of a, a home or a any kind of building. Species group, species or species group, 
So this is a little square and it says D-O-U-G-F-I-R. So Douglas fir, and then it has dash L. This L stands for larch. Below this, they've put this, it's this, practically the same stamp, except there's an N in this bottom line, which the closest I could figure, this stands for north, which designate, designates this as coming from Canada. So it looks like what they've done is they said, with that, the one without the N, U.S., the N, Canada. So they're covering their bases because they get wood, I'm guessing, from, from Canada and a lot from the U.S., and this is just in case this is indeed from Canada, but they're just covering themselves there. The ALSC stamp, once again, Western Wood Products Association and their registration mark. And this piece of wood also is quarter inch eased edge. So hopefully that's helped you out and you'll find other stamps on this pieces of wood. In fact, this two by four has other stamps on it. But uh, this one, I'm. Um, Another one says Premium Idaho Forest Group, which is just kind of a, an advertisement, essentially, for their company. And uh, sometimes there's other stamps on these that my best guess, they're usually really tiny. It's just kind of an in-house for their own <clears throat> use, maybe inventory purposes at the, at the lumber, the huge lumber yards. And uh, hopefully this has helped you out and uh, kind of helps... The way it helps me is if you run out of a piece of wood that you've been working on and you want to finish the project in that same piece, you kind of know what to look for when you go into the store. Uh, let's say the store you bought it at is out. Well, you can go to another one and find the same, find the same thing. So anyways, I hope this has helped you guys out. Uh, it's interesting doing the little bit of research I did on it and uh, kind of gives you a little heads up when you're when you're looking at the lumber, you kind of know what your, what all these stamps signify. So, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you can, subscribe, uh, leave a comment, and uh, share it. Thank you.